Hello everyone, today's video is going to be a little shorter, however it will be extremely useful, because today I'm going to teach you how to plot out shadows in perspective. And with that I don't mean guessing where does the shadow fall depending on where the light source is. Today you will learn the structurally sound and always right way to construct a shadow from a local imaginary light source. But before I change into boring explain mode, we are closing in on 1000 people being subscribed here, and that's quite a lot. I don't really have something that I can do when we hit that, so if you have a good idea, then let me know in the comments or in the discord and maybe I'll do that, because the only idea that I have for now is revealing my beautiful face with a self-portrait. So enough of that and let's get into the magnificent art of constructing shadows. For now, you will have seen in the background that I drew some boxes and an imaginary light source. All of them stand on the same plane. I've got the horizon line and I've got the vanishing points all indicated so I don't need to search for them. Now you will see that from the red little circle, which is the imaginary local light source, I drew a straight line down, because that is the shadow origin. This is the exact point where the imaginary light source hovers over the plane. In two-point perspective, this is just a line straight down, and in three-point perspective, this line would go to the third vanishing point. You can choose wherever this line touches the plane of the boxes, however, the closer the endpoint of this line, which is the shadow origin, is to the horizon line, the farther away your light is in perspective. Now, next you will see me draw blue lines from the shadow origin to the corners of the boxes. These are guidelines to know where the hard edges of our cast shadow will be. These are completely straight lines, like vanishing lines, just they all go through the shadow origin point. If you're just beginning to construct shadows from a local light source, I would recommend to draw these lines completely out of the page, because you never know how far the shadow actually will be cast. You will see that I've drawn through the boxes to see where the corner is that is hidden from us, because in some cases, like the tall box on the left, this corner is actually further out from the view of the light source than from our view, which means the cast shadow starts at the corner that is currently invisible for us. If you don't really know what I'm talking about, it will all make sense once I draw in the shadow. After that, I just draw in all the shadow origin lines and move on to some orange lines. Now, I don't really know how real professionals call these lines, I'm not gonna lie. I will just call them light rays, because that's what they essentially are. They are completely straight lines that go through the light origin, our imaginary light source, and the corners of whatever object is casting a shadow. You can imagine these lines being the outermost light rays that go through and are not obscured by the box. These orange lines will meet the blue ones that we drew on the ground plane. And the exact point where they meet is how far the shadow of this corner of the box will be cast. Now after that, you can see that I am plotting something out with red. I'm basically going from all the edges and corners of the shadow side of the box to the points where the light rays meet the lines coming from the shadow origin. And that abstract shape is the shadow shape. If our construction of the vanishing points and the boxes, and obviously if we drew all the lines exactly through the corners and the origin points, this red abstract shape should completely cover the shadow of the boxes cast by our imaginary light source. And to check that, I have made a blender model of these boxes. And if I just open up that layer, you can see that it actually works perfectly. Don't worry about the other light source, because I had to put in two light sources so you can just see a little better where the boxes are and how they are shaped. Now you might wonder, what are these little squares in the line from shadow origin to light source? They are actually height indicators, because every box here has a specific height. And when trying to plot a shadow from something that is on that box, you will need to adjust the height of your shadow origin. And if you found this video helpful, then leave a like and 
I will know to make another one where I show you how to transfer height points to your line of origin. I know it might be a little boring, but it is very good to know and it will surely help you in your drawing journey. And with that said, I would say happy drawing and, and have fun constructing perfect shadows from scratch.